So what we're going to look at today is Copperhead's two terminal switchable lid for their snake pit access points. So what Copperhead really focuses on is locating underground utilities accurately and efficiently. And they do that by way of a complete utility locating system. Part of that system requires all trace wire dead ends to be grounded. And that's where this lid comes in. So there are two main benefits of this lid. The first is the locate operator can switch the ground on or off from the top of the lid at the tracer wire dead ends. Second, it provides an external direct connection point to tracer wire that corresponds to the utility that they're trying to locate. And what that means is that the locate operator doesn't need to remove the lid from the base to connect or disconnect wires to turn the ground on or off. That, for one, makes the locator's job a lot easier, and two, most importantly, it allows for a more accurate and a more efficient locate. Now, a couple of things that you should know about this lid. First, it's made of a high-strength resin that's much stronger in terms of impact strength than cast iron. So that makes it tougher and more durable for this application. This is an at-grade access point for tracer wire. So we don't need strength left or right, we need strength down. So that impact strength, the high resin or high strength resin is important. Because it's a molded lid, there's no paint to chip or wear off over time. And you can get this lid in a color that matches your utility, so you'll be able to identify the utility that you're locating by the color of the lid. The tracer wire terminal provides a direct connection point for your locate transmitter, which is right here. The trace wire pops into the bottom um, uh, of this terminal, and the direct connection point connects to the top. Then there's a ground switch terminal, which is right here, um, and, and the, ground or the ground wire goes into the ground switch terminal, and the locate operator can turn that ground on or off from the top of the lid, engaging or disenga disengaging the, the ground rod. There's a locking mechanism underneath this lid um, that secures the lid to the base and it's controlled by a pentagon bolt and that pentagon bolt is notched at the bottom to prevent the operator from backing the bolt out of the top of the lid. If the bolt were to back out of the top of the lid, the locking mechanism would drop down to the bottom of the base and making it really difficult to number one, retrieve and number two, you wouldn't be able to lock the lid. So that notched bolt prevents that bolt from backing out, dropping that locking mechanism in the bottom. Um, lastly, uh, the, the package here is packaged with this silicone dielectric compound for the connection points and an Allen wrench, which we'll uh, talk about in a minute, which is used to uh, connect the wires to the base. So in terms of installation, this is an easy once and done. So there are two terminals on this lid. The, uh, there's the tracer wire terminal, which is your direct connect terminal, and then there is your ground switch terminal, and you install the wires on the underside of the lid. So we're going to do the tracer wire first. The first thing that you do is you strip about three eighths of an inch of wire or of insulation off of your wire. Put a 90 degree bend on the tracer wire. This is your uh, your dielectric silicone gel. You can either tear this open or, or rip it open. It's easy either way. We're going to cut it open. And then what I want you to do is um, put some dielectric gel on the conductor. There's a set screw on the direct connect post. We're going to back that out just enough to get the tracer wire in the tracer wire slot and then tighten up the set screw. Your tracer wire is now installed. We'll do the same thing for the ground wire. Strip off about three-eighths of an inch. Back the set screw out of the ground switch terminal just enough to get your ground wire in the lid. Coat the wire with the silicone. Tighten up the set screw. And your tracer wire and your ground wire are installed. 
And then what I would do with the rest of the silicone is just liberally grease up the connection point of the jumper bar onto the ground switch terminal as well as the tracer wire terminal. That's that. And then you want to install it on the base. Now in the field, this is an at-grade access point, so the ground will come up to here, so the tracer wires will be coming up through the bottom of the base. Um, for the demonstration purposes, we just have two small sections of tracer wire and ground wire. So you install this on the base, take your pentagon wrench, loosen the pentagon bolt, which loosens the locking mechanism. It allows you to put the lid on the base. Tighten up the pentagon net, and it's installed. So after the installation, you'd simply connect your positive lead of your locate transmitter to the direct connect tracer wire terminal, and then you would either engage or disengage the ground depending on what you want to locate. It's that simple.